John, let me let me let me kick it off with you because you have these three women. They are cultural powerhouses in their young twenties. Uh, all young, all women, uh, collectively speaking. What do you think that they have figured out about the entertainment world that that others have yet to? Well, I think at least two thirds of them are doing great work, Brooke. I mean, you know, Taylor Swift writes great songs. She sells millions of records, um, and she's made a decision to live a life that uh, epitomizes morality. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence is working against Hollywood's Mean Girl. Uh, program. She, she's spoken out against shows like Eats Fashion Police, and so she's celebrating positivity while also doing good work as an actress. Um, Molly, on the other hand, you know, the, the verdict is still out on that because it's been over-sexualized, you know, what was the going celebration on the of drug use, night? and a lot of other stuff. A lot of other stuff. Kelly Wallace, <laughs> pick it up. Pick it up where he left yeah, out for me. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, to answer your question, what was going on with the cats there. That uh, is a, a big question. But I will say this, too. One thing, and I think it's Jennifer Lawrence and Taylor Swift who seem to be doing it. Miley, also a question mark, is, you know, they're really appealing to the young girls, the tweens and the teens. And the moms of these young girls are really happy about it. I mean, Jennifer Lawrence, she plays this no-nonsense, tough lead character in the Hunger Games series. Series, a series about, you know, a killing game, which isn't, you know, sort of the most uh, wonderful okay. content, but, you know, moms like to see this. She also is very authentic very off real. stage. Very, yes, very she's real. real. And, and, and anyone who, who, you know, can trip up stage in a beautiful mm -hmm. gown, right, as she's collecting her Oscar, uh, I think she, she seems like a pretty real, pretty authentic young woman. Um, Miley Cyrus, I don't know. I'm going to pass on that and ask you this, John. Um, who right now in pop culture do you think, you know, we have these three young women, but what about a young African-American woman who, who has this kind of influence? Well, you know, the first one that comes to mind would be Kiki Palmer, who rose to stardom in movies like A Kill in the Bee and went on to become a Nickelodeon star and you know, recently starred in the TLC groundbreaking movie for VH1. The mainstream media doesn't always give an actress of her caliber the same type of recognition. And I don't necessarily know that the three women that we're talking about today completely resonate with diversity audiences, even though they, you know, resonate in a, in a mainstream pop culture feel. I'd like to see some women of diversity also get the recognition for their influence on pop culture because we know African American culture culture in particular, our music has had pop culture influence for a long time. Why, why are they not resonating? Is, is, it, is it a race thing? Uh, I definitely think so. I, I don't think that a lot of the mainstream magazines, like your Vanity Fair, which likes to put an mm -hmm. emphasis on the word fair, and the Vogue's often think that people of color can sell magazines. Now, Vogue, I'll give them credit for taking chances on Beyonce and Kerry Washington. Kerry and Washington comes to year. mind. But yeah. Kerry Washington, Beyonce, Jennifer Hudson, all of these women offer positive influence as well. Kelly Wallace, right. final I thought mean, to you. Yeah, As a mom yeah. with little ones, who are they looking up to? Well, you know, they're looking up to Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know much about these others. Um, but just jumping up what John said, you know, uh, Kerry Washington, you know, she's sort of the first African-American woman to lead a television series. We mm -hmm. have a long way to go. I would probably put Rihanna on this list. She got this Icon of the Year Award last <laughs> night, the first ever, which is funny to call her an icon. It's just the ripe old age of 25. Crazy. But I think... The message, especially coming from her mother, uh, talking about her journey, it hasn't been an easy one, but she continues to be strong and positive. I thought those remarks were pretty positive and strong and could really reach out to uh, young girls and young teens and tweens everywhere. John, I just wanted to get you, you were shaking your head, 20 seconds. <laughs> I was, Why are I you was shaking your head, my friend? Because <laughs> Whit Whitney Houston rolled over her grave and said, hail to the gnaw <laughs> at that Icon <laughs> Award last night. I think the American Music yeah. Awards just needed a reason to get Rihanna yeah. there. There you I, go. I think you're probably right about that. There you go. Kelly Wallace and John Murray, thank you two very, very much. I appreciate thank that. You.